Welcome to another episode of State of the Arts with Kendria Mecca. I think all of us are kind of dealing with identity, you know, you know, shaping who we are and how we're seen. When we do talk about Bitter Salt, Bitter Sweet, which is Michaela's performance piece, she actually places herself in the space of, you know, so many African women that have come before her, where they were spectacle, where they were object, where they were curiosity. There's something about her subjecting herself to the experience. You can't be passive in this space where you, you know, you can just walk up, look for 30 seconds and move on. You're really engaged. Hi, this is Kendria Mecca, and I am here at the Gantt Center, Charlotte, North Carolina, shooting the new season of State of the Arts. This is our second season, so thank you, thank you for joining me. And um, we have so much to cover today. We are here, like I said, at the Gantt Center, and this new season is all about the politics of being a black artist. And what better way to start out than here at the Gantt with this exhibition, I See You, The Politics of Being. In this episode, we're gonna talk to Janelle Logan, who is the curator for this exhibition. We profile Michaela Pilar Brown. So stay tuned and check out this word from our sponsor. It's Najee Dorsey with Black Art in America and I want to welcome you to the first Black Art in America virtual fine art show running January 28th through February 28th. Each week we got something very special. Week one, leading contemporary artist many of whom I've collected personally. Weeks two and three, select pieces by Jacob Lawrence and John Biggers, masters you know well. And week four, you just don't want to miss it. We made it easy for you to find great art. It's all online these days at shopbyyouronline.com. So I'm here with Janelle Logan. We are still here at the Gantt Center uh, in front of the ICU, the Politics of Being exhibition. And Janelle is the curator of this exhibition. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do here at the Gantt? Um, it's a very interesting position. I'm actually the Director of Education and Public Programs at the Gantt, but then also have been working um, on curating. And so it's really exciting to have a chance to work on this exhibition because we're able to present emerging artists uh, to support really kind of interesting work and sometimes challenging work, which is fantastic. Yeah. I definitely encourage you guys to come check out the space. It is absolutely beautiful. Black History Month is a great time <laughs> to get some black culture in you, but black history is 365. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about the exhibit. All right. Cool. Stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment with Janelle Logan for a behind the scenes look at the exhibition. But first, Let's talk with Michaela Pilar Brown about how coping with personal loss has helped her breathe new life into her work. My name is Michaela Pilar Brown. I was born in Bangor, Maine. I live currently in Columbia, South Carolina. I came to South Carolina in 2001 originally. My parents had decided to come to South Carolina and retire here. My father was ill and wanted to come back home. And so I moved back to South Carolina in 2003 to help with his care. And have been here since. And I went back to work after he died in 2007. I feel really grounded in the work now. It's, um, life experience has given me more to say um, and made me a little more brave so that when I started working again in 2009 I started doing some performance so the work that you see here is a combination of formal sculpture and photography and performance there's a companion piece to this that includes an interaction with an audience where I'm bound in the same way the chair is bound. Um, the chair here is symbolic of a human. And so in the performance piece, I replace the chair. Because I think that, that desperate feeling that you have right before it goes over is a pretty strong metaphor for how it feels sometimes to be interacting you know, um, in this culture. Sometimes you just feel like you're falling 
and that there's very little there to catch you. Um, you know, um, a lot of my work in the last five years has been literally about my family because I was trying to deal with the sense of the gravity of loss. And my father had Alzheimer's. And so a lot of my job while I was here that you know, I kind of took on myself was you know, making sure I knew our story before it disappeared. Making sure I had all the details and, and helping him to remember for as long as he could. You know. So a lot of my work coming from 2009 on was driven by that desire to record this history. And then once the history was there, um, I wanted to go a little deeper. I wanted to talk about how these things that are larger issues you know, have formed who we are. You can see more of Michaela Pilar Brown's work on her website, and please do follow her on social media. You can join us both and 60,000 plus other lovers of black art by visiting blackartinamerica.com and becoming a member. It's free to join and is definitely what's popping in these streets. Now let's get back to the gallery for our behind the scenes look at I See You, The Politics of Being. I See You is um, has been kind of in process for a while here at the GAM. And the idea of the driving force was to create an exhibition that explored the work of women artists of the diaspora, the African diaspora, and really kind of identify and share ways that these artists are kind of using body as a reference for identity, for history, for notions of contemporary construction. So we're starting with Alexandria Smith here. Um, on the wall, we also have Wanda Ortiz, um, Michaela Pilar Brown, who I understand she's spoken to you about the work mm -hmm. and we'll be sharing that later. Yes. India Beal, who is a photographer and also a performance artist. Um, Toyin Arutola, who does portraits. And then on this side, we have Ruby Amanze. Nice. So, a nice range of artists that represent the Latin. Latina perspective, African perspective, and African American perspective. We're doing a uh, conference, so to speak, and we're looking for the right word because conference seems so official and, and it does. You know, it's very academic. Yes, and we're not being academic. What we want to do is to create a space where academics, yes, students, artists, and people who are just interested in the arts kind of come together for this kind of two day. Experience. Michaela will be doing her bitter salt, bitter sweet performance um, with a talk back afterwards. Wanda Ortiz will actually be doing a performance as well as part of that. And then we'll be kind of getting a group of artists together along with Samantha Noel, who is a faculty member at Davidson. Mm -hmm. And she'll be kind of moderating this discussion between them about why is it so important to look at the body, reflect, and create this space. Visit www.gantcenter.org for more information about this exhibit and other events at the Gantt and follow them on social media. Well, will we be invited back to Absolutely. maybe get some footage of that and yes, just in the dialogue? Yes. So I invite you all to come down to the Harvey B. Gantt Center for African American Arts and Culture. We will definitely share that footage on a future episode of State of the Arts. But you can join that conversation right now by tweeting your thoughts with the hashtag SOTA at In These Tweets. I'm Kendria Mecca, as always, In These Streets.